Let's take a look at some of the more advanced workflows for carbon that are enabled by using the Pro Tools hybrid engine. One of the great benefits of recording with DSP accelerated hardware is that you can track through plugins. And there are two approaches that you could take. If you put a plugin onto the audio track that you are recording onto, you can monitor that plugin during the recording process. This way, you are not committed to that processing as it's running live, giving you the flexibility to tweak the settings after you've finished or even try some different plugins. The second approach is to print the plugin as you record, emulating an analog recording workflow. To do this, simply bring your mic input from Carbon into Pro Tools on an AUX input rather than an audio track and then route the AUX input to the audio track. Now put the plugin that you want to print onto the AUX input. Make sure the recording chain is in DSP mode and you're ready to go. You will probably have been in the position where a mix is well underway, but then you need to do an overdub. If you're using a pure native system, then this is a problem as you will already be taking advantage of the power of the CPU and will have sacrificed latency. When you're using Carbon, you just create a new audio track, route it direct to the main outputs, enable DSP mode and start recording. In fact, you should always have a track preset that's ready to go with your favorite plugins and a cue mix so that you don't even have to think about it. Tracking a band is where Carbon really comes into its own. Making use of the ADAT inputs, you could have up to 24 mics coming into your session. Have a look at this session. It's for tracking a three-piece band consisting of drums, bass and guitar with lead vocal and harmony vocal and it's not even using all of the inputs. Three cue mixes have been created by putting pre-fader sends on each recording track and routing those to headphone outputs 2, 3 and 4, leaving one for the engineer. Use copy to send to quickly create a cue mix based on your main mix. Even with DSP plugins on each recording track and limiters on each headphone feed, there is still some DSP to spare. The DSP chips are essential for tracking, but can also be useful for mixing. You may be running a session that is using a lot of VIs, and you can use the Carbon DSP to offload some of the processing burden. To do this, just put your track into DSP mode. However, you need to bear in mind that all tracks downstream of the DSP-enabled track will also inherit DSP mode and that you will only be able to use DSP plugins on those tracks. You could try using DSP mode for your stem tracks, essentially putting your summing mixer onto the DSP. I hope this has given you some ideas about how you can make use of the Pro Tools Carbon Hybrid Engine. For more information and other videos, visit the Pro Tools Carbon page on avid.com.